good to talk about what exactly an argument is. So I'm going to ask Abdullah Al-Anazi. Abdullah Al-Anazi, Habibi. Yes, Mr. Uh, uh, can you tell us what an argument is? Can you tell us exactly what an argument is? Uh, it's a group of statements of which one is uh, Good morning, Riyadh. Good morning, Riyadh. What's your number, Riyadh? Thank you. Uh, my sorry, number. Abdullah. Sorry, Abdullah. Sorry, Abdullah. Because I'm. No, no problem, Mr. I just need it. Okay. Yes, Abdullah. You you were saying, Abdullah? Uh, you are saying uh, an argument is a group of statements of which one is proposition. proposition. A proposition. What does a proposition mean, Abdullah? Uh, like, uh, uh, yani proposition, like uh, a suggestion mean, or something that you think or an opinion or a claim. Yeah, very good. What, what, Mister? A claim. A claim. No, no. What you mean proposition? Proposition is it's like uh, something you propose, something yes. you say. This is what I think. Yes. You mean it's like a claim. Yeah. No. Yes. All right. So, yes. uh, yes, claim that is supported by at least one of other statements. A drink a quarter daily is good for your health. Yes, very good. As, As so you uh, give us so here is the claim. Here is the claim, Abdullah, or here is the proposition yes. that you are making, and here is yes. a, a sentence that supports it. Right, yes. as it cleans yes. out your liver and uh, reduces uh, the level of uh, toxins in your body. All right, yes. love. Thank you, Abu. Yes. I love you. Welcome, Mister. Welcome. Very good. Okay, so now let's move on. Uh, for those who are using their phones, is my screen clear to you? Yes. Okay. Thank you. So, can you read? Mm -hmm. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm talking about those. Can you can you see my computer screen clearly and you can read? Yes. Follow yes. us. Okay, cool. Yes. Sir. So I'm gonna move to uh, I'm gonna move to uh, uh, Abdullah El Gerni. Abdullah Habibi. Yes. Can you read for us, please? Uh, when do I need to use an argument? Yes. The reason uh, the why purpose. an author an author because we we said that before. We said that we have different types of uh, writing, right? Different genre, if we might use the word genre. All right. So when do I use this specific genre of writing, uh, which is a, a, a persuasive article or ar argument? Yes, Habibi Abdul, tell us. Uh, the, the purpose of an argument is to get others to believe what is uh, you are asserting or claiming. Yes, very uh, good. So it's the, the main purpose is to convince or persuade or or express your own ideas and convince people with your ideas. Is this clear, everyone? Yes. Yes, yes. very good. Uh, this means you do not need an argument if you are just describing something. Uh, list, listing or uh, list. listing certain items, yeah. Uh, explaining how something works or just identifying key points or factors. Why boys? Why? Why boys? So you don't need an argument. Remember, here we are talking about we do not need an argument. If you want to, for example, if you want to describe, all right? We do not need an argument if you want to describe. Or if you want to list, you don't need an argument here. Or if you want to explain, or if you want to identify a process, or if you want to point out key points or factors. You, why, boys? Why don't we need an argument? Because these are different genre of writing. Do you understand, gentlemen? Yes. Yes. So, however. I have a however, question, Yes, Habibi Abdullah. Abdullah. Yes, yes. What if we want to identify something that uh, there is uh, like a conflict between uh, two parts uh, so or two in opinions. Case, in this case, uh, sorry, sorry, because I misunderstood you. I was about to say, in this case, you're going to use a definition paragraph. But sorry, I uh, I didn't get your last part. What is the, what's your question again? Uh, I said that if we want to identify an object and we have two opinions, like uh, two different opinions. So you mean you're juxtaposing two different opinions or ideas about the same topic? 
Yeah, but uh, like uh, but listing something or this explaining. Is, this is called this is called compare and contrast uh, essay. Compare and contrast. Oh, not argument. Not an argument. An argument. Yes. An argument. An argument. You may use a counter argument to sub to refute. You know what's refute, Abdullah? Uh, actually, so not. that you disprove it. You disprove this counter argument so that it it it, it comes in your advantage. You see what I mean? Yeah, with, a, so with an, an argument, you, in an argument, you propose an idea, your own idea regarding a topic, and then you support your idea. Part of your support is to use another argument or a counter argument, and you disprove it. You prove that uh -huh. the counter argument is not valid. You get it, Abdullah Habibi? Yes, yes. Thank yeah. you very much. But the one you are talking about, when you compare something to something, uh, or showing the similarity by comparing, I mean showing the similarity. Or when you contrast uh, something to something, this is called compare and contrast paragraph or essay or whatever you want to call it, call it. If it is a paragraph, it's only one paragraph. If it is an essay, of course, it's composed of more than uh, three paragraphs, right? Yeah, thank yes. you. I have I answered your question, love. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. It. No, no, no. I, it's me who should thank you for your uh, much appreciated question. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes, Mr. Uh, Omar. Yes, uh, uh, Saud Al Harbi. It is Saud Al Harbi. Yes. Yes, Saud. What do you want to say, love? Mr. Mahdhati, Mr. Yes, it's okay. I just noticed that you joined. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Saud. You're welcome. Okay, uh, next class, inshallah, I'm going to assign an assist, assistant to me to, uh, it is, it's going to distract him. It's okay. Thank you, love. Uh, is there anybody here who, have, who has a question before we move on? Okay, Abdullah el -Gabhi. Thank you, love. I'm going to move to uh, Abdullah Shafi. Uh, I'm going to put you to uh, credits for asking the question, and this is for participation, Abdullah. Can you continue reading, Abdullah, for us? Uh, sure. However, uh, you do need uh, to use an argument uh -huh. when you... Remember, you do need. Do here is used for emphasis, to put, to stress. You really need. Do here means really need. All right? You do need, yeah? Uh, to use an argument uh, when the point, idea, or position you are making may not be well known or maybe uh, or may not be uh, well accepted. Yes, uh, very good. It, it's not uh, obviously true Very good. or where uh, you know or expect there is some disagreement or uh, alternative perspective. So you're going gonna, to you're gonna, you're gonna juxtapose, uh, you know what's juxtaposed when you put things side by side. You juxtapose your counter, the counter argument or the opposing idea and you disprove it. You see, Abdullah, that's what we yeah. were asking about. So yeah. this is different from comparing and contrasting. Because in comparing and contrasting, you are only juxtaposing them without having your take, without having your opinion. Yeah, right. Right, Habib. Yeah, continue, love. Uh, because of, because of this, uh, we have to give reasons to support yeah. our position. Reasons, uh, uh, and I'm going to add, and evidences, okay? I'm yes. going to add evidences here because we, we discussed what reasons are and what evidences are. All right, to support your position, or what do we mean by position? What do you mean by your position? Yes, very good. Or uh, academically claim. speaking, claim. claim. Yes, yeah. I love you. I love you. My hands are put together for you, Abdullah. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm going to move to, thank you, Abdullah. I'm going to move to Ahmed Faiz al -Inzi. Ahmed Habibi. Can you, can you continue reading for us? Ahmed Habibi. Say topic. Ah, okay. Um, it's say topic uh, often often ask us to take a position uh, on a top on Very a good. topic. Yes. As uh, 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 privatization. Uh, you know, uh, 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 like this is a topic, boy. That huh? a topic. This is a topic privatization. You know what's privatization? Actually, no. When when you when you sell government companies to the private sector. We call it, in Arabic, we call it al-khas-khasa. When you, for example, yeah. there's a, 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 a government company, like, for example, Sabic. Sabic is a government co company. When you sell it to a private owners or private sector, this is called privatization, right? So this is a topic we are discussing here. 
is privatization better than public ownership for developing for the, accounts? Uh, yeah. This account, uh, account, account tells why. An, another why topic, another, 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 another topic is? Uh, 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 what? Who has just joined us, Mazid? Abdullah Al-Bri. Abdullah Al-Bri. Good morning, Abdullah. Can you talk to us, please? Abdullah? Can you talk to us, Abdullah? 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 Uh, Mazin, put, it, put him in the waiting room again. Okay. And he's using Arabic again also. Don't remove him. Have you removed him? No, no. Put in, you put him on the waiting room. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, all right. Who was, uh, who were reading? Yeah. So this is another uh, topic we need to think about. Why do nurse, boys, do you think, do you think these questions, a claim, for example, is private privatization better than public ownership for developing country? Is this a claim? Yes. No, I'm afraid no. No, I mean no. Yeah. It's only a topic. It's only a topic you need to discuss. But if I say, if I say, privatization is uh, the uh, is a good way, is uh, is a good way for developing country. It's a good thing for developing countries. <laughs> is this gonna be a claim? Yes, because I, I need yes. to prove it. I have to prove it. Yeah, because as I told you. Privatization is not a claim. Yeah, it changes his name into English now. Admit Abdullah Mazin. Yes, uh, I am. Good, good morning, Abdullah. Good morning, Abdullah. Abdullah? Abdullah? Yes, yes. Oh, can you, can you confirm your number on my list, please? Um, second. Second, very, very good. Thank you, love. Okay, so let's continue. Another, another, another question we can address and make a claim out of it. Why do nurses need to be culturally sensitive? Is this a claim again? No, it's only a topic. I can make a claim using my idea about this. By answering the question to this, I make a claim. Do you understand, Abdullah Shafi? No, sir, I have a question. Yes, Habibi, who is this? Mazen. Uh, yes, Mazen. Uh, the cultural sensitive. What's mean? Uh, culturally sensitive. That that means culturally aware, aware of uh, culture. For example, aware of uh, uh, people from other cultures. Oh, okay. You see what I mean? Thank you for asking. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes, I understood, Mr. Amal. Thank you very much. Yes, very good. Thank you. So, can we consider Abdullah Shafi? Can we consider these statements claims? No, these are these are only questions. But by answering this question and adopting a certain attitude towards the topic or adopting a certain scope towards uh, the topic, you are making a claim. Have you got it, Abdullah? Yeah, you mean your point of view or an evidence? Yes, very good. Yeah, no, no. an evidence comes after you choose a point of view, after you adopt a point uh, of great. view. Great. Very yeah. good. So, Thank you very uh, much. Uh, uh, who is reading? Who is reading? Uh, Ahmed Faiz Love, can you continue reading for us? Ahmed Faiz. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. To answer? To answer the to answer this question we need to decide or uh -huh. decide what, what very good. Uh, what position? What attitude? Uh, what scope are you gonna cover? What claim are you gonna make? You see Abdullah? You got it, uh, Ahmed? Yes. Okay, we hold and then Defend this claim, or I will use another word, support your claim by using, by using what? By using evidences, uh, sorry, reasons and evidences. You get it, boys? Mr. You understand, Mr. love? Yes, yes, Mishari, love. That's when uh, we write evidence. We need, after we read the paragraph, or when we write the reason. Sorry, you've, you've lost me. You said here, uh, you need to support your claim by using reasons and evidence. Yes. When, 
when I um, support my um, evidence. In the paragraph body or in the essay body? In the, after the main idea. After, uh, yeah, after the introductory paragraph. Okay. So in the introduction, you make your claim. In paragraph one, you support your claim by only one idea, by only one support. In paragraph two, you choose another way to support. In paragraph three, preferably, you choose a counter argument and then refute it or disprove it. But if you want to support it, uh, if you want to bring a, a third evidence, it's okay. In the conclusion, you either restate your claim or summarize the main supporting idea that you use for each paragraph. You got it, Mishari? Okay, I will choose. I will write about third person or end. Pardon me? Sorry, your voice cracked, love. That's my choice. You need to, uh, I need to write or not? Yeah, if you, if you want to choose to, to, to bring over a counter argument, it's your, it's your choice. But what if I want to support, I want to only support my claim and that's it. I don't want to talk about any counter arguments. It's, it's up to you, love. Okay. You got it? Thank you. Again, again, yes. Michelle, uh, 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 we are talking about say now. We are not talking about paragraph. All right? So. Yes, I know about say. So An for any say, for any say, how many paragraphs do we, do we write? At least three paragraphs. At three. least. Yes. At least. Three paragraph okay so uh, but I would say that the, 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 the typical form of an essay is five paragraphs all right so we are talking about an essay right so for this essay we have paragraph we have sorry uh, introduction we have paragraph one one or body paragraph one, body paragraph one, body paragraph two, two, or uh, and three. body paragraph three. Three. Three, right? So I'm gonna uh, use the word body for each of these. I hope you don't get bored, boys, and bear with me, because wallahi, this is very important. All right. So, and then we end up with concluding paragraph or conclusion. So, body paragraph one includes what? Includes what? Should include what? Should the include, yes, very good. If, if the main idea, a main idea or supporting idea one or main idea, yes, very good. Sorry, introduction. The introduction should include what? Include the claim. Yes. Right? And, mm. Uh, here, you, you you support one, support one, okay, and then for support one, you use uh, reasons and evidences. Evidence. All right, you can bring as many reasons as you can, but two reasons and two evidences are enough. All right, for body paragraph two. You're going to provide support or main idea to support to. All right. And also you may provide reasons and, and evidence. evidences. We spoke about evidences before and what yes. they include. All right. And then for paragraph three, you have supporting idea or main idea, support idea three. Right. And for support ideas uh, three, of course, you need to provide reasons uh, and evidences. Okay, for evidences, you can include all sorts of evidences, examples, uh, anecdotes, facts, uh, or, uh, uh, opinion, uh, experts' opinions, quotations, uh, uh, research findings, and all this. For the conclusion, what do we normally do? As we say, re We support the main idea. No. No, no, no. A conclusion. Or Very good. Restate or summarize. Support. One, two, and, and three. Three. You get, boys? You got it? Let's summarize I, that three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I hope this is clear for everyone. Yes. It's is this clear for everyone? This is very important. Yes, Please sir. make sure you understand what we have uh, outlined here. 
Make sure you understand this outline, uh, please. Yeah. Mr. Support free. Support free. What's with it? Uh, like. Uh... What is it, Abdul? Who is speaking? Sorry. Uh, support three is like support one. Yes. Uh, what do you mean like? You mean the same? No. You provide a main idea, a main idea to support your claim. Because you support your claim using three points. Yeah. Each point should be included in one paragraph. So paragraph one include the support, uh, the support idea or the main idea one. Paragraph two include the main idea two. All right. Uh, paragraph yes. three include the main idea or the support three. You get it, Abdullah? Uh, I am Tamim, sorry. Yes, it's okay, Habib. Tamim, sorry. It's Nasser, okay, love. Yeah. Nasser, uh, the paragraph needs how many sentences? At least, how many sentences? At least five. Uh, at least five, man. Mm. Do you remember you re uh, would you remember when we talked about the paragraph structure? Yes, yes. We, 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 you can use C. You can use C if you like. Do you remember C? Mm. Yes. Yeah, you can use C, support, and then after support, use, elaborate, and then uh, uh, evidence. You see what I mean? Yeah, you can mm -hmm. use C. So, five sentences should be good. Five sentences should be good. But this is only for beginners. But for yes. academic writing, of course, you need to uh, explain your idea more. All right, boys? So, let's get back. Uh, don't worry, we're going we to take practical examples. Uh, I designed this lesson to be more practical than theoretical. All right? Yes, who's reading? Uh, I'm going to move to uh, Hamoud. Hamoud Love. Hamoud. 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 You always do this to us, man. Hello, Mr. Hello. Aha, uh -huh. hello. Yes. Were you daydreaming? What? Were you daydreaming? Okay, read for us, Hamoud. Uh, read for us. Read I for was, us. Uh, uh, Sorry, what makes a good argument? Ask, no. What ask, what makes a good what argument? Make a Sorry. Good argument? Yes, Habib. A good argument should be convincing. It can, yeah, because this uh, is the main purpose. Convincing. Because this is the main purpose. Remember, boys. What's the what's the, the main purpose, right? This is the main purpose of an yes. argument, right? Is to convince, yeah. You should find yourself. Yes, Hamoud, continue. You should find yourself be believing the claim or at least finding the conclusion responsible. Yeah, reasonable. Uh, the, reasonable, the reasonable, Hamoud. Se several reasonable. things. Reasonable. Yes. Uh, this interior, several se things. What are they? That the premises are ac acceptable. Yes, very good. Uh, likely not uh, likely to be true that the evidence yes, of good. reasons are excellent. The, the, evid relevant premises is the evidence, you remember? Yes, yes. very good. Sorry. Yes, Hamoud Love, sorry. I apologize. Uh, let me just uh, fix, uh, sort out the format here. Uh, is this clear? Is this clear, Hamoud? Yes. Yes. Are even to the claim? Yes, relevant. Uh, what do we mean by relevant, boys? Show it or very good, uh, has a kind of uh, related to the claim. Relevant has to yes. do with the claim, has a good relationship, supports that claim or directly supports the claim. Directly support that claim. All right, boys? Yes, very good. Continue, Hamoud. That the reasons provide sufficient uh, ground to lead to lead us to accept sufficient. The claim. Sufficient. What does sufficient mean, Hamoud? Uh, sufficient. Sufficient. Uh, enough. I enough. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Ground to lead us to accept the, the claim. To accept the claim. Uh, us who. What do you mean by, by us? Lead us the reader. Uh, the yes, reader. very good. The readers. I love you, Hamoud. Now you prove you are following us. Okay, continue, love. 
these are collect uh, called cool. uh, accept acceptability acceptability yeah or relevance <laughs> relevance and ground condition of our argument condition of an argument very good if, if an, an argument, argument satisfies satisfy these three conditions acceptability good, relevance it like and it be a good argument very good i love you man how do i write an argument hey here we go let's get down to business now okay so let's move on to uh mazen habibi yes yes mazen how do how do I write an argument? Can you tell us first? First, you need to understand the question. Very what good. do that's, you have to that's do? That's being asked, but the question is not the claim matter. Remember, by answering yes. the question and taking a, and adopting a position, you're making a claim, okay. right? Yes, mm. Habib. What do you have? What to do, do you have to do? What issues do you need to cover? Issues then here. I'm talking about the sides of the topic that you are going to cover. The sides of the topic, the side of the topic that you are going to cover, the scope. Yes, very good. Then you need to, uh, to do your research. Abdullah al can, what you, do, can what you mute do you your phone, please? Your, your microphone, please. Abdullah al can you mute your microphone, love? Yes, then, uh, then you need to do some research. Some research for what? Yes. For what? For reasons and evidence, evidence. and the information about the topic. Yeah, all right. Yes. Then go back. What do we know about this issue? Yes, very what good. What do the researchers say? Yes, what are good. the debates? Mr. What mean debates? Debates like uh, different uh, views about a topic, like al jidal, al jadal. For example, those who are oh. pros and cons. Pros, debates that are done, that are done by, for example, by, for example, for example, pros and cons. You know what's pros and cons? You understand it, Mazen? Yes, very good love. Thank yes. you for the question. Yeah. Uh, uh, the problem. problem. Yeah, then, then go back. Go, then go back to the questions and see what you think. Aha. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this in bold because this is important. After you do all this, you say what you think. Because is what you think is your claim or your proposition, the one that you are gonna support. This is your claim. Do you understand mm -hmm. it, everyone? Uh, guys, why do I feel like everyone is not giving? Uh, are you guys following us? Uh, yes. 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 Put your hand up. Put your hand up if you understand. Please. Yes. Put your hand up or put a tick. Put a tick or yes if you understand, please. Tick? A tick or, a, or your hand up as you like. At least show me you are following what I'm saying. <laughs> For God's sake. Let me just see who's chatting. Somebody's chatting up with me. Uh, yes, Hamoud, what do you want to say? Oh, thank you. Nothing, just Oh, okay, okay. Riyadh, do you understand what we're talking about? Uh, Riyadh is not with us. Riyadh has left us. So oh, sorry about this, boys. Guys, you are tenth graders for God's sake. For God's sake. I am here. I am here. Uh, do you understand what we are talking about, Riyadh? No. Aha. Uh -huh. Why don't Why don't you tell me? I listen all day, but I don't understand. Tell us at least one thing you understood, or some one thing you didn't understood. What? Tell me at least one thing you understand, or one thing you don't understand. Abdullah Shafi didn't put a tick. That means you don't understand, Abdullah Shafi. Abdullah Shafi. Now we put a tick. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you must be kidding me. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. Uh, okay, I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. Okay. Uh, so, Riyadh, please pay attention, please. All right. Okay. 
uh, yes, what do you think is the answer? Given your research and what you know, you now know, uh, who is reading? Uh, yes, yes, me, man. Yes, Mazen, continue, love. This, this will, be, will be your claim. That's what we are talking about. You see, boys? This is your what? Claim. What you think is about the topic or your proposition is uh, your claim. You now need to argue. You now need to argue for this what position. What does argue for mean, Mazin? Argue for. Support my claim. All right. Very good. Try to get people uh, in favor of your claim. Very good. In an academic context. Thank you, Mazin. I'm going to move to uh, Misharid Dusari. Yes, yes. Do you understand what we have discussed so far? Yes. Now read for us, man. Once you have decided your decision, you need to work out how how you will put forward your point. Of, uh, Very good. You now well reasoned and objective way. Very good. Ask yourself what made you think. Uh, uh, what does what do you mean by objective way? Objective way. I don't know. Uh, it's like not biased. Not biased. يعني ما هي مبنية على الانحياز. منا منك بس مجرد إن أنت بتحب هذه. مو مجرد للحب. لا. Objective. بطريقة موضوعية. That you have your clear logical evidences. You got it? Yes. Ask yourself. Ask yourself what made me came on this conclusion. Is it only a whim? No. It should be based on reasons and evidences. Yeah. And what? Uh, what conclusion? If yeah. Reason, conv conv convincing. convincing. Like uh, persuasive. Persuasive. Like mukna am shari. Thank you for asking. Then so should you uh, present reading, first reading your essay. Yes, Remember. very good. And, uh, and, uh, to acknowledge. Acknowledge all the. Uh, Sources you access. Uh, of course, uh, you you need to provide your references. You know what's references, boys? Maraja. Maraja. Yes, very good. You need to provide your reference. Provide your references and make sure they are reliable references. What do we mean by reliable, boys? Something that you can trust. Something that you can trust, not, for example, you can take, for example, uh, an influencer, a YouTube influencer, you don't know, who's not even an expert, ideas about it, and you say you take support using his uh, ideas. No, this is not a reliable resource. All right? So, let's move on. Uh, I'm going to move to, thank you, Michelle. Do you understand what you have read? Yes, of course. Is Muhammad al Muhsin with us? I think I saw him. Ahmed Al-Mohsin? Ahmed Al-Mohsin? No, he's not, he's not in the room. It's Muhammad Salami, right? So, uh, yeah. Muhammad Ali Al-Garni, is Muhammad Ali with us? No. no. Uh, is uh, Muhammad Ali Rafa with us? No. Then I'll have to move to my dear boy, Muhammad Arif Tamim. The right yes. person. You are the right person in the right time, man. <laughs> Okay, so a good argument, Muhammad. Yes, uh, tell us about a good argument. Facts or evidence alone do not make an argument. Yes, they merely support it. Yes, first, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, first make it very clear what position or point of view you are taking. Aha. Uh -huh. So you don't you don't you 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 don't wanna only provide a fact and say okay this is uh, what I no. Provide what you think rather than a fact. A fact supports rather than make a claim. You don't make a claim using a fact. You can't say water freezes at zero degree, degree centigrade, right? And you say this is a claim. Pardon me, Hamad. Yes, Habib. Yes, very good. It's not uh, a claim. Can I get out to be ready for the next session? Because the uh, time is uh, what time? What time do are we supposed? We are supposed to. Finish. Eleven twenty-five. Are you sure? What time do we finish, yes. boys? 11.20. Yeah, really? Ah, yes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yes. Uh, Muhammad, I, I, I stopped at you. But please, before you go, 
your evaluation and your questions, please. Before you go, please. Your evaluation and your question. Uh, I just have one question, Mr. Uh, yes, Muhammad. Put your hand uh, up if you benefited, if you think you benefited and you like the class. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to listen to Muhammad Arab's question. Yes, Muhammad Habib. Uh, Mr. Uh, in what point or is it like in uh, uh, Thursday we're going to make like everyone write his own uh, argument? Not this week, not this week. Maybe it's going to be for next week, inshallah, when we have Mr. Anthony back with us. Uh, this okay. is actually extra resources that I prepared for you when I found out that you, you guys are really, really interested in this kind of writing. All right. So this is like extra uh, curriculum activity. <laughs> you see, I mean, Muhammad. Yes, yes. So this, these are uh, things that I prepared for my students last year, and I think you may make use of it this year. All right. But meanwhile, if you want to write an argument and send it to me, fine. I'm going to get back to you. I'm going to uh, refer it to Mr. Anthony and he's going to get back to you with the feedback. All right. Thank All right? you. Thank you, love. Uh, oh, uh, Abdullah Al-Anazi, do you like or you don't like? Come on, man. You confused me. <laughs> thank no, you. he's clubbing for you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, any question before I leave this uh, meeting? Um, sir. No, thank you. Yes, Habibi. Uh, sorry, but uh, maybe you uh, delete the number uh, 22. Or... What do you mean number 22? My name. Oh, uh, I deleted it by mistake? I don't know. because. What's your, what's your name? Who's speaking, love? Uh, Tamim. Tamim. Uh, guys, meanwhile, while I'm uh, sorting out Tamim's problem, uh, problem, can you kindly look at uh, your name and make sure they are uh, they are uh, ticked? I mean, uh oh, how did, how did this happen? Uh, Mister, mine is not uh, included yeah. either. Ah, uh, it's gonna take ages. Sorry, no, guys. Knife is, here. knife is here. Yes, number eight, eighteen. So, uh, who participated, please? Mishari Dusari, have you participated? Yes. Yes, uh, Muhammad Al Muhsin. Please make sure your name is ticked and your participation is, re is recorded. Tamim, have you participated, love? In the beginning of the class, but yes, uh, okay. not so. Yes, okay. Muhammad uh, Ubaid Salami is with us. Okay, I'm going to uh, choose these Yes, four. yes, Mr. Okay. So, uh, sorry, guys. I apologize for the inconvenience. Have I checked? Have I ticked everybody's name here? Yes. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. 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 Yes.